Okay, so here's your tensor. The wider the better, so if it was like this wide, it would be good. Well, not the wider the better, but probably about that wide would be good, if you can see that. Maybe another inch wider than this, but this will do if this is as wide as it gets. So what you wanna do is you wanna put the middle of the tensor around your lower back. So think about your tailbone back here. You wanna put it just around that. So just around your lower hips. Okay, so you're gonna have it right around that lower part of your hips. You're gonna have both sides kind of hanging loose here. Getting some help with this would also be good. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to bind this area but you really don't want to squish everything in together. You kind of want to wrap it in a wraparound fashion. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with one side and you're going to bind it along and sort of upwards. So you're going to pull it across and up and try and hold that in place. The other one's going to go again across and up then they're going to twist behind your body. The longer the better too. This isn't a very long one. You're going to go again across and up and across and up. Okay, so it's kind of going to push your body, any extra body fat you have up, but that's okay. You're going to push it up and you're going to push it up. And if you can wrap it around again, it would be better. And you're going to wrap it again around and up. Think about around and up. Think about around and up because the whole idea is that you want it to be around and pulling up because you think about your organs inside. You don't just want to squish everything together because what that is is like imagine a balloon and if you just squish the middle of it, the bottom pops out and the top pops out and you don't want that to happen. So when you bind it in this way, it's not gonna put any pressure on your pelvic floor. It's just going to pull everything up and in and push everything back together because what's happening for your first eight weeks that you are healing after having your baby, you have that usual separation of the abs, which is called diastasis recti. And a lot of the time that separation is here. So you have just like a, the fascia right here that's pulled apart and your abs are kind of over here. What that, what this binding does is it kind of pulls it all in together and the natural healing that goes on for the first eight weeks after you have your baby will help heal those tissues and it will bring everything back in nicely without putting pressure on your pelvic floor. So after you do the tensor, that's when you can put that extra band that you have around um, that I sent to you and you can just Velcro that on, but try and Velcro it more tightly at the bottom and leave it more open at the top so it's not doing that balloon squishing thing. Okay, hopefully that helps.